six, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. Um, you know, I was just thinking, if I dumb down my channel and I start talking shit about other people in social media, creating beefs, uh, starting shit with ops. I wonder if my algorithm would change. You know, I've been talking about that with my wife. If I start using the word nigga and maybe some, some gang terminology, uh, talk about smoking weed, about how many times I got shot at, robbing niggas, jacking niggas, how much dope I sold. Maybe it would up my channel. It seems like the platforms that glorify that, they get a lot of views. I was just wondering, what do you guys think? Do you like to hear about that stuff? Do you like to hear how niggas shoot at niggas? How niggas destroy each other? Or would you rather hear about a person who been through the thick of shit that changed their life and now they're looking to help uplift those around them? Would you rather hear about that? Would you rather hear about some nigga shit or some, some excellence? I'm just asking. Because um, it seems like the more nigga shit you talk about, the more people get excited. The more you rap about killing your ops and ro rolling down on niggas, it seems like you get five mics for that. Five stars. That's like, you know, eating at Morton's or something, man. Ruth Chris. That's what they glorify. I don't hear anybody saying otherwise. Ain't none of these big time rappers saying, hey man, you know, we can rap about family values, elevation of culture, accountability, non-victim mentality, uh, raising strong young men and put it behind a dope beat and it will still sell. Is that not something that's worth rapping about? Is that not worth a discussion at the round table? I always hear everybody, you know, pointing the finger and, you know, yeah, you know, uh, it's because of this and we, 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 we had to overcome. Well, when we were, you know, so-called the black culture was dealing with the civil rights movement, um, redlining, segregation I don't recall the culture robbing shooting praying on each other and um, thinking it's cool to steal every day I, I don't recall that going on in the culture I don't recall uh, the neighborhoods you know being as violent with as far as you know you walking around and, and somebody because you, you had on the wrong color or you went down the wrong street, you getting, you know, you getting pressed or robbed or checked. I, I don't recall that during that time. So why now do people in that culture have to deal with that when we're talking about elevation of self see it, it doesn't really it doesn't really make sense because you 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 fast forward to the present time but you guys still want to talk about the past but yet during the present you treat each other like shit i've run across some really good brothers man and learned a lot about more science um learned a lot about just Black history, I didn't know about great men in history that uh, 
invented a lot of things that weren't taught, you know, in school. Public schools is, you know, shit anyways, but I learned a lot of this stuff on my own. But yet, when I hear those things and I think about how these people were able to create, be innovative, and against all odds, achieve success, I don't get how now, with more opportunities, we're not still pushing to try to achieve that success. Rather, we're glorifying ignorant ass behavior. Glorification of stupidity. Glorification of of uh, dumbing yourself down. Talking like you have no articulation. Blatant disrespect for the women. No 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 sense of responsibility for for fatherly duties or family values how is that how is that how is that not being discussed we constantly want to point the finger but i don't recall anybody uh sitting at somebody's table saying that they don't have you know the ability to study on their own or Somebody, you know, you don't have the ability to teach your kid better, better, better values, uh, elevation of self. I don't, I never, I never, you know, that's not, that's not something that you're restricted from in your own private household. You can elevate your kid and give them whatever you need to give them to succeed in life. And nobody from no other nationality is stopping you from doing that. You know, when you start looking at the etymology of black and what they want to uh, press upon us to define ourselves, we're not even really, you know, I'm not, I'm not really even black, bro. I'm, um, I would consider myself a more Native American for the simple fact and even how they define other black culture, black is considered, when you look at, when you go back to Egyptian times, black is considered dead. And we are very much alive. So the more you push the death of culture, which means dead culture, we should be pushing more life of culture. And, you know, whether you want to call it brown, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, maroon, bronze, but black culture needs to be redefined because when you get into the science of it, it's not alive. And so they're actually killing the culture from within and it's eating itself up. And by definition, what you're speaking into existence is the destruction of your, of yourself. Just think about it, man. Look, look up, look up the definition. Look up black, man. Look up, look up the etymology. Look up the context in um, uh, in e Egyptian. Um, look up the context and just uh, how it was presented in in the in the in use of language. See, a lot of times the language you're using right now, the words are so bastardized that you're not getting the true meaning. Start looking up these words and what you call yourself and how you define yourself and maybe it'll change how you present yourself to the world. Young women out here, you know, that are proud that they've had uh, multiple abortions, guys who are proud that they've you know, shot or killed multiple people that look like them. And they're, 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 you know, they're high-fiving each other. They're bragging about how many times they got shot. It's really disgusting, man. It's disgusting and it's sad. It's, it's very sad, man. If we could go back and talk to some of these great people 
uh, George Washington, you know, uh, Carver or Benjamin Banner, some of these people, man, and, and they would hear the conversation that young men are having and young women, um, they would be, they would be embarrassed. We got a lot of soul searching to do and we got a lot of healing to do. And only through that soul search and the healing process can we come together and create wealth and build something that will rival some of these other cultures and what they have going for themselves because sticking together, helping each other, I, I, I just, man... I, I don't know, man, you know, <clears throat> I see these guys bragging about, you know, robbing trap houses and doing it. And, and, and like I said, I, I speak from experience. I, I got receipts for everything I talk about. I'm not one of these dudes who, you know, are talking to my ass. I don't, I don't need to have a, a, a bunch of tattoos or, or walk around or talk a certain way to have credibility. I got, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a representative from that lifestyle and I'm telling you that it ain't shit it ain't shit you know wanting to be a hard ass nigga ain't shit the, the brothers who didn't go to the pen who sacrificed who married their, 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 their baby mamas the ones who take care of their kids those are the OG's man those are the ones who need to be put on uh, uh, pedestals and you know really given more credit for not going to the pen and for resisting the temptations that have plagued our culture that's been glorified and that's led to just the destruction of our culture man it's horrible so you know i sit here just finished work on the gym you know this is something that was on my mind just the ignorance and and i, I look at some of these platforms and some of these dudes you know they love getting you know, these, these, these brothers on there, I'm not going to use black. I'm just going to use brothers, man, you know, and no disrespect for those who want to say they're black. I'm just saying, look it up, man. They're, they are, they have wordplay and manipulated us with that definition. But I'm just saying, look at the, some of these brothers, man, that go on these platforms and you got guys who are, are talking shit. Oh, this dude shot this dude. Oh, this dude, he, you know, I took his chain, this dude. And they keep us going at it, man. They keep us in a st constant state of ignorance and bullshit. And then dudes are get embarrassed because it went viral. Then they want to go do something. These dudes are, are basically playing themselves on social media, bragging about it. I snatched this chain. I did this. And, and the guy who's getting all the views on the platform, he's laughing because he ain't doing nothing. He's a goddamn square. He's a nerd, but he's playing all the brothers around him because he knows brothers sell his platform. Why can't we do something better, man? We don't even support our own. You got something, and as soon as they find out it's yours, they don't want to buy it. I got to put somebody who don't look like me on my product in order to sell it. The culture. I'll call it the culture. It needs help. It needs help, and it needs to, it needs to really sit back, and, and it needs to take a close look at itself, man. And uh, you know, somebody said to me, "Oh, Big Herc, you said that you you know you never took a government handout. Well, you took a handout for however many years you're in the pen. You know, you're right. I took a handout for being an ignorant ass by default, but at least I tried to use that time to educate myself. The last time I was in there." to try to get more sense and to not have hate against people that look like me. Cause I want to see people that look like me win. I want to see young men that look like me make a difference and think outside the box and to embrace the world on a level of intellect, of a level of ambition that will bring them up along with their families, man. That's what I push. You know, it's disgusting to me to think about trying to uh,
be violent against another person that looks like me for this just because it, it's just you know and, and it, you know, maybe it's, it's because i gotten wise over the years you know when i was young i was a hothead and it, it was fun to you know to get into fights and to you know rile up on you know on on, on, on dudes man and i realized man it's like I wish somebody would have talked to me when I was younger, man. I wish I would have had that. I wish I would have had that that guidance. And, you know, it wasn't like I didn't have it, but it wasn't. I feel I couldn't relate. You know, my grandfather, I couldn't relate. You know, my uncles, I couldn't relate. And maybe you can relate to me. Maybe you can relate to me, man. I just hope I can reach you guys out there who can. And I hope other OGs that hear this will be able to, you know, talk to the youngsters around them. Because, you know, we got to start talking to these youngsters, man. And, um. Maybe some of them will listen. Maybe some of them won't. I can't save everybody, but I just want to put it out there, man. Big Herc 916. Subscribe, share the channel, man. Uh, let's say no to ignorance and uh, stupidity, man. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Are you tired of smelling funky? Have you washed your ass? Go to BigKirkNet16.com and get to Nutsack Run. Right.